Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. So I want to share something with you guys. If you feel like you're just not reaching your goals and motivation is just not enough, you want to write down your goal and set a time and date and hold yourself accountable to it. All right, guys, I finished doing my video. I was so incredibly nervous about it because it usually takes me about eight hours to film a full set of videos. And I got into the studio late because it's been snowing like crazy in Toronto, but I did it. I did it. So that goes to show. I filmed these videos within an hour and a half, which is actually really fast, but I did have a contingency plan. So if I didn't complete my goal by the set time, I was going to stay really late after teaching my classes tonight to complete it. So it's still Talk Tuesday in addition to all the videos that I made. So one of the main messages that came out of Roger Pierce's live stream is that focus on one thing. Avoid the shiny objects. Don't worry about it. focus on one thing and get really, really great at it. Day it just keeps getting better everybody it's a busy busy day for me uh, the next thing that I have on my plate is I'm going to be doing an interview with Daniel Eisenman he is the author of breaking normal so we're gonna talk about how he breaks normal and how we can do this I found Daniel through his YouTube channel where he does all of these really insightful and interesting and live coaching sessions on his YouTube and I thought to myself you know what this guy is so interesting I would love to get to know him better so here we are we're gonna be doing it Good night world, it's time to shut it down. It's past midnight, way past my bedtime. Anyway, I gotta get refreshed for tomorrow because I am making some YouTube videos. Yeah, it's gonna be a really exciting day. It was already a really exciting day today and I think it's gonna be even better tomorrow. See you guys, bye-bye. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, but it's a special Wednesday because we are making videos at the studio and we're expecting some special guests from Believe Nation. You good? Good morning and happy Wednesday. No, Thursday. Oh my gosh, time is flying. Uh, yesterday was a busy, busy day. We had lots of great people come by and uh, say hello. And it was really nice to see all the people in person that were impacting. Hey everyone, I haven't really filmed any stories today because my phone has been acting up. It's been freezing a lot. Anyway, since I have this opportunity right now, I want to share one thing with you guys. Something very important that I learned is to respect my time and you guys should do the same. It's Friday night and I spent the entire night getting rid of most of my clothes. It's been my goal to uh, really, really scale down in how many things I own because I don't use it. If you don't use it, there's no point in even keeping it. So I'm excited. That's it. Those are all the clothes I own. I think that little box is a box of shoes. I don't have that many. I have under 10 pairs of shoes. Ah, feels good. It feels good to get rid of all the stuff that I don't need in my life. Just to give you guys some context, I used to own over 350 pairs of shoes and walk-in closets full of stuff, full of clothes and storage full of clothes. And it's been years. It's been years scaling down and finally I got to here. Hey everyone, my phone has been acting up for the past couple of days. I don't know why, but I'm not getting any service a lot of the times and I haven't been able to post stories and I miss you guys. But uh, I think it's okay right now. So I wanna do this quickly before my phone craps out again. I had a bunch of coaching sessions today, which I love. Uh, one of the common patterns I see a lot is um, when you're in the transition period and you're trying to grow yourself and develop yourself, you're gonna run into some problems with people in your life. The issue usually is miscommunication. Uh, they just don't understand how you growing and doing all these different things that they have never seen you do before. So the first thing is to communicate and if they still don't understand, limit your exposure to them. And I know it's really hard, especially if these people are really close to you. So if you don't want to sever the relationship completely, uh, just don't talk about certain things that you're doing with them and then replace them with positive people who will support you and encourage you. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Sunday. It's nice to be out in the sun. I was working all day yesterday in my basement office and I felt like I haven't seen sun in a while. So it's nice to be out. I'm gonna meet up with a friend for coffee. It's gonna be good. Yeah, excited. Switch. Stefan, how do you describe yourself in a few words? I don't know. Um, fun, happy. Um, Butter? Smart. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished teaching classes at TDS and today's question was how do you describe yourself in a few words can you guys let me know I know it's a hard thing to do because you're like how do I fit in all this fabulousness in a couple of words I know you can 
write in and let me know. Honey, mm -hmm. how would you describe yourself in a couple of words? In love. That's a couple of words. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make it awkward and just have it in, on your face until it reaches 15 seconds.